Hello community members, my name is Joseph Alvarez and I'm principal of College Park High School. This is now my third year at College Park High School and a large part of my job as principal is to individualize the educational experience for 2100 students. That's difficult, uh, but it's my moral imperative over the last 19 years in education to wherever I'm at to really give it my all and support students, support community members and faculty to make whatever institution I'm at the best they can be. Uh, some of the challenges that I do face at College Park High School is the ever-evolving uh, social media. We have some vaping, which is a controlled substance uh, that we try to minimize to get to the point to have students understand these are harmful things that you're ingesting into your system. So back to the original point of the challenge that presents itself to me at any large comprehensive high school, but we need to educate students and have strong interventions for those students that are chronic users of controlled substances. My favorite part about being a principal is just interactions. I have, I'm fortunate, I'll say, to be able to go out into a community and really interact with my community members, students, teachers, uh, community members at large. It's just fun for me. Uh, as difficult as a job is, uh, I have fun each and every day, and it's kind of that service with a smile. My goals for advancing College Park High School are simple. How do we get every student to stay engaged in their education? How do we have every student to get involved at College Park High School? And the third point that I ask all students to have is a plan of action. The going will get tough, and how do you get going? Something about myself I'd like to add is being a high school principal is pretty much a 24-7 job. Uh, when I get here in the morning, I get home in the evening, uh, I like to spend quality time with my wife and my four kids, uh, coach where I can, uh, but be involved in their lives as much as I can be. Uh, because that, in true honesty, is the most important job that I have is with those four young little ones at home, my wife, and creating a system there that helps ensure that I can be successful here at College Park High School. So hopefully as you're watching this video, you can see my passion uh, that I have for the students in progress of College Park High School and reach out to me or any other administrative staff here and I'm sure we can help answer your questions. Go CP! My name is Gary Jensen. I'm a Vice Principal for Alphabets A through G. This is my fourth year at College Park. My role as Vice Principal is to help all students A through G with any types of discipline problems, course selection, issues that they're having on a day-to-day -day basis, etc. I'm also over the athletic program, as well as uh, anything else that deals with clubs or facilities on campus. Some of the challenges I face are trying to stay abreast with my 700 plus students that I'm responsible for to make sure they are credit current and online to go to a four-year university or secondary education beyond high school. The thing I like most about being here at CP is the opportunity to be able to work with the various students on campus A through G as well as the excellent teaching staff that we have. Most of our teachers have been here on the average 15 plus years. So there's a lot of buy-in to this school being one of the best schools in the area as well as in the state of California. In my spare time, I like to get out and play as many rounds of golf as I possibly can. Hi, I'm Ms. Chang the office manager and the principal secretary. Most of what I do is for Mr. Alvarez, the vice principals and the teachers, like payroll, ordering supplies, budget stuff, use permits, communications, and keeping calendars, and a bunch of other secretarial stuff. So I have three kids, and I was a stay-at-home mom for years, and I spent most of my time volunteering at their schools, at Strandwood, Pleasant Hill Middle, and here at College Park. Well, one day I came into the office to volunteer and the office manager at that time said she was retiring. She asked me if I would substitute for a month or so until they hired a new one. Well, of course they said yes and one month became two months, became three months, became four months 
and I thought, well, I really love it here, so I might as well apply for the job. And that's what happened 12 years ago, and here I am. CP is my home. Hi, my name is Mrs. Tegler. I work in the counseling department here at College Park with students' uh, last names A through C. I have been here for, what, five months now? I'm brand new, started in August. So what inspired me to become a counselor were two things. The first thing was um, I was a counselor at a summer camp in the Santa Cruz Mountains and I worked with high school students. And so I loved seeing how the relationships with those students built um, over time. A lot of things that the students dove into while they were at the camp for the week, but then to see how much um, they really shared and how much those, again, just the help I was able to give spread past that one week was, um, I'd say one big inspiration. Um, the other one is while I was at school at UC Davis, I had an internship at a high school working with students who were really struggling academically. And so just to see what it is that they loved to do with their time, things that just made them light up um, would be some more main conversations because everybody has something that they have an interest in and how they want to, uh, what they find worth spending their time in. And so for me, it was worth um, diving into that and seeing what they really loved. So advice I give my students pretty frequently is um, things happen, um, things take time to happen and a lot of people want things to happen so quickly. Um, you know, they, they have a problem and they just want it to be solved immediately. And really everything happens with making one decision at a time and um, putting one foot forward but knowing that the outcome isn't gonna come right away. So I usually use the analogy of like a harvest, for example, or like planting, um, where you plant you know, some fruit in one season, but you don't actually see the outcome of that until maybe one or two seasons later. So I think helping students realize, you know, keep pushing forward and do well the best that you know how, um, but know that it might, you know, be patient and know that it might take time to see um, that outcome really uh, be, be shown. My goal as a counselor is just to be a helper. I definitely want to be a better listener um, and just really hear out what people are dealing with and going through and just knowing what um, sort of advice can I offer. Um, I want to be a problem solver all the time, but I know sometimes I can't. Um, so I think just to be present with students and um, just be with them during a time that is really hard and know that um, students aren't alone and they have someone who can uh, carry a sense of the burden with them and, and just know that they have support. So I'd say that's probably my big goal for counseling. Right now, I so I'm newly married. Yay, seven months. Uh, so learning how to be a loving wife is a big one right now. Um, I think also playing with my pet cat, which I got in October and it was actually something gifted to me. I wasn't expecting a cat. I'm actually a dog person. But when you get a really cute kitty and you know, you just end up playing with it. Otherwise I do, uh, I work out a lot. So I really enjoy going to the gym. I enjoy being outside, cycling. Um, otherwise just living life to the fullest.